The BBC presenter Matt Cook is here to tell us more. The phenomenon is over again. Sadly, it's over. Um, week 10, she, uh, the former MP said she would last about week three. Obviously, the public got behind her, despite some of the interesting performances, shall we say. And, uh, yes, yeah, so she lasted till week 10. She was up against Scott Maslin, the popular uh, actor from EastEnders. And she was, despite being at the bottom of the scoreboard of the judges for so long, it was finally time for her to go this week. Mm, I wonder why the public stopped getting behind her. Did they just decide, do you think that, oh, well, you know, really, the good dancers, one of the good dancers deserves to win? Well, I think last week was quite interesting. Pamela Stevenson, Billy Connolly's um, wife, she got the first top 40 of the series, this year's series. So now we're getting to the quarter-final stage. It's getting to a point now where yes. there's sort of an argument between is it a dancing show or an entertainment show? And essentially, I think, whilst fans are very entertaining, perhaps not the best dancer. She's been called uh, by some of the judges uh, a hoover. Alicia Dixon referred to her being dragged <laughs> around the dance floor. That was a, I think that was in Blackpool, that footage there, but uh, she's had a few uh, memorable f uh, performances, shall we say. But she's going to be back, isn't she? I mean, she's doing this tour, yeah. dancing well, with... Now, who's, uh, who's her... One of the her, judges, The most it? hostile <laughs> critic. One of her most hostile critics is Craig Revel Hallward, right. who has given her a, a one in one of the mm. scores before. That's kind of unheard of in Strictly history. Um, she's actually broken a lot of records. She's got five history, uh, five records that she's broken on Strictly, five of the lowest scores for five different dances, so she's uh, done quite so well. So nobody's ever got <laughs> null point? No, no. Right. So I think the, it's just a one that particular partnership Craig. will not be Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire, but it should be hugely entertaining. And that'll be part of the UK tour as well, so there'll be plenty of opportunities to see Anne when he can take the dance floor again if you, if you want to, if you can face it. Um, but some of the other good performances, we saw her doing the rumba, which included uh, a tribute to Titanic. That was quite memorable. So a lot of fun had, but I think now it's got to the point where Two weeks to go, it's time for Anne to uh, waltz off. The bookies will be relieved, won't they? They will be, yes. <laughs> yeah, OK, Matt, Matt thank thanks you very a much. Lot. Now, let's uh, take a look at the weather forecast with Phil Avery. Hi, Phil. Hi, and the bad news, I'm afraid, just keeps on coming. Simply